What's going on everybody? All my pizza holics out there. Uh, stuck in the house. I'm kind of stranded in a way. Kind of. We only had six inches of snow, eh? but I got to dig out two cars. It's going to take all day. I got I to gotta shovel out the property. Uh, so, you know what? I said, look, let me take the opportunity to, 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 you know, to review a frozen pizza. The weather's bad outside. The weather outside is frightful. And can frozen pizza be delightful, guys? Elio's here, the Sicilian style. Like I said, guys, I'm on a Sicilian pizza crusade right now. And uh, that includes frozen Sicilian pizza, Elio's. Now, uh, what I did was uh, I, I used the uh, toaster oven. You could use a conventional oven or a toaster oven. In the toaster oven, you need to leave it in for about 15 minutes if you want a crispier crust. Uh, I, I want to just mention the ingredients. I was the, the reason why I purchased this pizza was because uh, the ingredients. It says here right on the box, no artificial flavors or preservatives, 100% real cheese. Uh, yes, it's made with enriched wheat flour. There's, there's quite a bit of herbs going on here. Look at that bottom, guys. A little pale. A little pale. We're going to have to move it down a scale because of that. I didn't want to overcook this thing. Left it in for 15 minutes directly on the rack. Toast the oven just like they said. This is the type of pizza. One bite. Just like the other guy says. One, that's all I need to, to, to score it. The tomatoes are uh, immensely pasty. The tomato flavor is very concentrated, like a tomato paste. It's, you know, on the ketchup-y side. I'll take another bite. You know, the sauce is a very important component in a pizza. If you don't get the sauce right, if the sauce isn't fresh tasting, then, you know, it's got nothing to do with being frozen, guys. I've had frozen pizza with good sauce on it. Table 87, Lou Malnati's. Uh, the crust is just the zero aeration eyes. It's one of the densest things in the world. The cheese is good though. The cheese is pretty good. There's, there's a couple of cheeses in it. Asiago, mozzarella obviously, Romano, and Parmesan. And that's what's giving off that fragrance, that sharpness. It's, uh, it's gonna add some points. There's also garlic on this pizza, which adds to that uh, that fragrance, which really adds a punch to the flavor, I must say, the sauce is just lacking. And the dough is, is horrible. Which is a shame because the cheese is fantastic. The, the blend of cheeses, which you know, I love that. The herbs, there's some flavor here, guys. And for two bucks, I mean, I got it on sale. I don't know what this stuff really goes for. I got it at a stop and shop for two dollars. I recommend buying this thing, something that you, you know, when you, if you're on a budget or if you want a snack, a quick snack, and it's a lot less processed than most frozen pizzas, guys. Those ingredients, even though the sauce is pasty, uh, the blend of cheeses and the herbs, uh, I'm going to go on the frozen pizza scale, guys. You can't rate this, you can't compare this to the other pizzas I've had, uh, you know, the fresh stuff. Um, but <laughs> I'm laughing because <laughs> I'm going to throw out a pretty solid score, guys. I'm going to go on the frozen pizza scale. Frozen pizza scale. I'm going to give it a 6-2. Uh, on the regular pizza scale, how does this compare to, like, the best pizzas I've ever had? Lucali, Sally's, uh, John Zaplica, and, and everything. <laughs> doesn't compare at all. I'd rather have Domino's than this. So I'm going to go 4 and a half. On the regular pizza scale, but it's unfair because it's frozen pizza. But you know, when you look at the ingredients, it's game. I would get the regular styles. I think it's too thick, and the level of aeration is so dense it, it, that you know uh, you don't want a thick. You don't want a thick Elio's pizza. You want it as thin as possible. So Elio's, I'm gonna tip my hat to you guys. You guys wanted to know what's under the hat. Nothing to see here, guys. Literally, don't go anywhere, folks. We got my mom's chicken cacciatore to taste. Oh, this is just too good. <clears throat> to anybody out there that doesn't like chicken and thinks chicken is bland and blah, uh, my mother doesn't like chicken. And that's why she makes it this way with a ton of flavor, herbs, olives, capers. Uh, no, no capers, bay leaf. 
Oh, bursting with flavor, guys. Mmm. Mm. Guys, stay warm out there if you can. Hit that like. I would appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. In the winter, I'm going to be doing some frozen videos from time to time. Until next time, guys, keep those bellies full, preferably. A little bit of Helios, a little bit of $2 pizza. This is Antonio, signing off.